I mean, condescend with rage that he of all people could make a pronouncement of that magnitude without him realizing the significance of the statement that uh, he, he made. The, the others could be pardoned for their ignorance of the law and the ignorance of uh, every other thing that you can think about. Atokoba doesn't have that privilege. Professor of no other subject but of the law. He made a condition. He, 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 that, that, that's been bandied about. That it was, a, it was a conditional statement. Okay, the, if the, what were the conditions? If the NPP does not go groveling on its news, if it doesn't give up the, uh, the yield levy for all the sins that it's uh, supposed to bring to the country and all that, the military would intervene. That is the condition. I've said that the NPP has no intention of giving up the yield levy. The You're NPP, not backing down the No, no, nonsense. The NPP has no intention of groveling on this needs to the NDC. So if we don't kowtow to the needs of the NDC, Atukuba is saying that that is a precondition for the military um, to come in. That's what he's saying. I am saying that he's taking leave of his senses. He doesn't have that privilege. Professor of law, he must know what is there in the constitution. Oh, no, but these are strong know, words. For of you course, I take leave of extremely it. strong. That, that's, I am that's saying quite that. Quite I mean. well, no, 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 no. It's a fact. It's a factual reality. If a professor of law who knows the constitution, he was taught as a student to know what the constitution encapsulates, spirit of the whole country. As a professor, he lectures in it. He teaches it. He is abrogated all of that and taking leave of half of his brain to go out there and make this assertion. It is, it is unforgivable. It is sinful. Atukuba doesn't have that privilege. It's wrong. The preconditions I've told you, who is about to satisfy that? If we don't do it, the NDC, we, we are not NDCs. We are MPP government. We don't intend to do anything he is suggesting. If we don't do it, the way is paved uh, for the, the military to take over. Is that what he is suggesting? I'm not so sure how old he is. I don't know. But if he's been reading, he's been reading the law, but I don't think he's been reading history. He should be reading the political history of Ghana as much as he's reading the law. He would get the synchronization right, and I think he would begin to get the other half of his brain back in situ. But there are those who have called, and this is my final question to you, sir, calling that, I mean, his comments uh, constitute treason. I don't know if you believe that. Course, and so the why, police why, am I, why am I sweating if I don't Perhaps believe that? It is, it is, it is, no, no, no. I mean, because, not necessarily no, being. No, no, it is treasonous. It's a treasonable. It is, but listen, you, you can't. You know, people are making all sorts of comments. I've told you that uh, I can forgive some of them. They don't know what they are. Some of the, um, the NDC, whatever, foot soldiers, and uh, they're making uh, you, you forgive them. Uh, they are ignorant. They don't know what they are talking about. But a person of his, I thought, caliber, of his stature in society, at least he's worked in the political cycle for very long. He was with President Mahama. I, I, I do know for that. He was at the, 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 the presidency. And then, if nothing at all, the man is a professor of law. This whole business of constitution is to do with the law. He teaches the law to, um, to, to his, his students. This is the man who is suggesting that if a certain government does not do A, B, C, D, the condition is ripe for the military to take over. Should the police How old was it? Well, I'm surprised if by now they haven't called him. I, I don't know. But, but, but they, they certainly should. He's not planning him. to stage a coup himself. You see, Parker, you know, banter and the argument, who says that he says he would, how can he stage a coup? He hasn't got, he hasn't got a bicycle or whatever. You know, he hasn't got the, whatever. He didn't say that he himself would stage a coup. He says that the conditions are right for the invitation. He's inviting them. You see, taking a coup is not, if you remember those days when they were arresting them and shooting them. So, so, I mean, you're a lawyer. Yes, you're a lawyer. Yes, so if the police invite him, yes. what are they going to ask him? What are the charges going to live with Well, you say, you say leave that with them. I don't do that. I do my work. My work is what we are doing now. Let them do their work. Please, uh, the national security, the police, when they invite you, they will know the questions to put to him. But my point is that at his level, he has no reason, he has no excuse to make that kind of statement.